Welcome to SJCE Content. I am Dr. D. Shobha, Assistant Professor, Department of Physics, St. Joseph College of Arts and Science, Autonomous Kadalu. In this video, I am going to teach about dielectrics. Dielectrics are the material having electric dipole moment permanently or temporarily by applying electric field. In dielectric material, all the electrons are tightly bound to the nucleus of the atom. Thus, there are no free electron to carry the current. Therefore, all dielectric materials are insulated. But, all the insulators are not a dielectric. The main function of dielectric is to store electric charges when a potential difference is applied across its end. But the main function of insulator is to restrict the flow of current when a potential difference is applied across its end. Let us see some properties of dielectric. They are non-metallic material, example glass, plastic, mica, oil. They have high resistivity. They have large band gap that is more than 3 electron volt. They have negative temperature coefficient of resistance that is when temperature increases the resistance of material decreases. Let us see some basic terms and definition involved in dielectric. The first term is dipole. Dipole is the two equal and opposite charge separated by a distance d is called electric dipole. The figure shows the a simple electric dipole consists of two charge, one plus charge and one minus charge separated by a small distance d. Next we see the dipole moment. It is the product of one of the charge of the dipole and distance between the two charges in the dipole is called dipole moment. The dipole moment is represented by the letter mu which is equal to q into d. Here q is the one of the charge and d is the distance, uh, distance between the two charge. Its unit is coulomb meter. Next we see the electric polarization. The process of producing electric dipole inside the dielectric material by the application of external electric field is called polarization or dielectric polarization. Next we are going to see about polarizability. It is denoted by the letter alpha. The polarizability is defined as average dipole moment produced in an electric field which is proportional to the applied electric field. Here the proportionality is removed by the constant that is constant of proportionality that is called polarizability which is the ratio between the average dipole moment to the applied electric field. Next polarization vector P vector. It is defined as the average dipole moment present per unit volume of the dielectric material. If the dielectric material consists of a number of atom per unit volume, then polarization vector P vector equal to N times the dipole moment. Its unit is coulomb per meter square. Next, we are going to see about the permittivity. The permittivity is represented by the letter epsilon which represents the easily polarizable nature of the material. Permittivity of the free space or vacuum or air. It is a constant which is denoted by epsilon naught. Its value is 8.84 into 10 power of minus 12 farad per meter. Next we are going to see about relative permittivity or dielectric constant. It is the characteristics properties of dielectric. It is the ratio between the absolute permittivity of the medium epsilon and permittivity of free space epsilon naught. Then next electrical susceptibility. It is denoted by the letter psi. 
in large number of dielectric the polarization vector p is proportional to applied electric field the proportionality is removed by the constant psi e that is electrical susceptibility it is an scalar constant the, the electrical susceptibility also gets uh, some more relation that is psi e equal to p vector divided by epsilon naught e on substituting the value of p we are getting the susceptibility psi e equal to epsilon r minus 1 epsilon r is the dielectric constant also we have epsilon r equal to psi e plus 1 these are some relation uh, related to the susceptibility then we are going to see about electric displacement vector d vector it is defined as the number of electric flux line crossing a surface normal to line divided by the surface area the d vector is equal to charge divided by surface area 4 pi r square represented as equation 1 also we know that electric field intensity e vector equal to q divided by 4 pi epsilon r square and comparing these two equation we are getting displacement vector d vector equal to epsilon r epsilon times e here epsilon is the permittivity of the medium e is the applied electric field we know that epsilon is epsilon r into epsilon naught and uh, we are also having the relation epsilon r in terms of susceptibility which is equal to psi e plus 1 and substituting value of epsilon here, r here we are getting the d vector equal to epsilon naught e plus p vector Thank you.